What's up, y'all? This your girl, Gold Mouth, coming at you guys to show you my protective style that I'm going to be having my hair for the next two to three weeks, most likely two weeks. But this is the back of my hair and how it looks um, right now. It's been washed like a week ago. Um, it's been I've been keeping it moisturized and sealed, and this is what it looks like. So the first thing I'm going to do is separate my hair into sections, put the back completely away because I'm going to get ready to braid that up at the end that's going to be braided up last so first i'm going to braid the front up i'm going to separate the front of my hair into three sections as you see here and the first thing i'm going to do with my sections is which use my virgin hair fertilizer um what i should have did was grease my whole head with the virgin hair fertilizer but that would have been hard so never mind child i'm going to do each section with the virgin hair fertilizer and i'm going to grease my scalp you know grease your scalp like your mama them used to do when you was little and put you between your legs before she put them knockers in your head grease the scalp that's just what i'm doing i know a lot of people are anti-grease petroleum anti all of this anti that but um i've never had a problem with greasing my scalp with using the virgin hair fertilizer because there is petroleum in it so the next thing i do after i get my scalp grease i did give myself a little slight head massage on that part a little bit so i'm going to be proceeding to uh braid my hair in an upward motion and i'm going to do the whole front of my head that way going to the crown of my head just braiding it all up so here i am with my hair completely braided and I'm finished with the front and I left a bobby pin there to show you guys that I did miss a piece. So if this ever happens to you, you can actually use a pin to mark it and I'm showing that I missed a piece of hair somehow. I don't know, but I managed to skip out a whole piece of little hair there. So instead of me just like gelling it down and say, forget it, I'm going to do that whole braid over. So that way I won't have to worry about it in the future. I'm just going to rebraid it and, you know, start the back of my hair. There you go. Black girl magic. It's done. The whole front of my hair is braided up. Now I'm going to proceed to go to the back of my hair and the back of my hair. I'm going to comb it out to make sure there are no kinks and knots and all of that in it. Now I just grab the virgin hair fertilizer and I'm going to proceed to grease my entire scalp and the back of my head now i like virgin hair fertilizer so so much i've been using it for like um i want to say dang off and on for like two years off and on so i go off of it sometimes because um i get tired of it honestly so but and then I get tired of my hair being greasy all the time. So I stop and I pause, you know, and anytime you do have a product, I think sometimes it's best to take a break from it and then, you know, let your head get rest and then go back to it and, you know, see if it's still right for you. And I have done that several times and I still love the virgin hair fertilizer and what it's doing and what it has done to my hair. Well, I know it probably doesn't look like a lot because I have had a major setback with well i don't know if it was major but i guess um setback with my hair being um lost and shed from um having chemotherapy and radiation but my hair is bouncing back um in a good way as you guys can see look at my roots my hair is doing very well compared to how it used to be and it's coming along stronger yeah so grease that scalp honey child um, I did purchase this virgin hair fertilizer from Amazon.com. And normally when I purchase it, I purchase the four piece uh, kit, four pack. And um, so that way I won't run out because that one tube, it don't last me long. But if you're new to virgin hair fertilizer, I recommend you probably just getting one tube, trying it out and see if you like it. Then after that, if you really, really like it like I do, go ahead and get the, the four pack because it'll save you money. And right here I got my uh, Profective Daily Leave and Strengthener. This is my moisturizer cream. As you guys can see, I just moisturized the entire back of my hair. The only reason I moisturize the back of my hair is because, you know, dry hair um, breaks. So as I'm pulling through my hair trying to braid it, I don't want you know any little hairs to pop off because i'm pulling it i'm not pulling it hard because you know i'm braiding my own hair so um, i'm i can feel 
the the tension that I'm putting on my hair and it's not that hard that I'm pulling so yes girls if you take a close look at the back of my hair you will see that it is ratchet because the struggle is real because the sister do not know how to braid upside down and I got so much new growth honey it ain't even funny you see that you see it you see it but it's all good though because I'm gonna make it work I ain't worried about it really because um the back of my hair ain't gonna be seen so what you just saw me hold up was the Ampro Pro Styling Gel which is a lie girl that is eco style um olive oil gel it just put it in that bottle because i got a big one i was trying it out for the first time but i actually like my black gel better because it's black i just do um i like the the gel that's in that's supposed to be in that container but right here y'all i just held up some age beautiful it's some um black spray that i use to cover up my grays i don't know my camera does not pull up my gray hairs that much maybe because they're white um I sprayed my gray hair so they will be black because majority of my hair is jet black. And right there I have even edge control that I'm going to use to lay down my edges. As y'all can see, I do have another video on how I lay and slay my baby air hairs, my edges and all of that stuff. So I will leave that link in the description box as well on where you can get the product. But I did purchase this even from um my local beauty supply store and on top of the even i don't know if i showed it but i did apply gel on top of that not a little bit but enough to like cover up the flyaways it's like probably going towards the back of the hair in the braids and i also right now i'm putting some even on the back um the edge control on the back as well i didn't put any gel on the back of my hair because um i just didn't because i'm going to um put something else on it in a second so I combing the baby hairs down and look at look at that sleigh. Ooh, 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 the baby hair is just on point. Yes. So I'm just going to lay my baby hairs down. This is with edge control with gel on top. The reason why I put the gel on top this time is because I'm going to mold my hair and I want my edges to set with when I mold it. Um, because I'm going to go under the dryer in a few seconds. So I'm laying my baby hairs down in the way that I want them to lay. Um, when I'm done, I'm just laying them down. So when I'm done under the dryer, they're going to be laid just like this. And but so they, they're going to be dry. So right here, I'm just perfecting them a little bit and got the comb, put a little bit more detail in it with that little comb on the end. That little comb brush thing I got from the, my beauty supply store as well. Before I did get my first one from Walmart, but uh, my children won't let me be great. So they come home and visit and then they stuff walk out the house with them like gel and combs and stuff like that. But anyway, this is like a little alcohol pad, but ain't no alcohol on it. Usually it is, but I'm just cleaning up around my hairline and getting all the grease and stuff off my forehead and ears and face and stuff you know so it won't be looking greasy and there is the foam elastic up olive oil mango butter design foam it's just a mousse y'all just put the mousse in your hand and apply it to the front and the back sections of your hair that is to mold it to mold it to hold it to lay it to slay it yes and there's some more i know it look like a lot but it's really not just put a little bit back there Y'all, the struggle is real with the back part now. The struggle is really real. I know how it look a hard mess, but I'm going to make it work, child. Let's put that mousse on there a little bit more. Lather it up. Slather it on there, child. And when you get done, I I, I touch that baby hairs a little bit in the front. So that way I can, uh, they can mold too. So now I got mousse on all of my hair. 360 spin. There we go. Now, I got my little Sanic strips. Um, that's what they call Sanex strips and I put them around my hair to mold my hair before I get under the dryer. Now these can be used for a a lot of things but for right now I'm using these um, to mold my hair while I'm under the dryer. You can mold your hair in different hairstyles and your hair comes out a whole lot better if you mold it versus just leaving it like that and put my ponytail on and calling it a day it's better to just mold it so it'll look more decent because the braids in the back is a struggle y'all so we got to try to make them look a little bit better so now on top of the strips i'm going to go ahead and put my head scarf the reason why i put my head scarf on is because i did not like my mold um it did not touch the back of my hair so it won't lay down i want it to lay down as you know as 
lay as it can, as lay as it can, y'all. I don't know. You know, I wanted to lay down as lay as it can lay, as lay as it can lay, as whatever I'm trying to say. But, child, I don't say I'm finna go sit under the dryer. I'm done under the dryer. I'm not doing this voiceover again. So, if I sound crazy, oh, well, it is what it is, girl. So, I am taking my head scarf off. I'm going to, you just tear these strips off. They're just paper. You just tear them off and bam. Ooh, what you say? What you say? Ooh, ooh, kill them. That back ain't all that, but it's good enough. It's doable, girl. So I'm going to grab my ponytail, y'all, and let y'all see what kind of ponytail I got here. Order this off Amazon as well. It's a newborn free um, ponytail, and it is iron safe, but I don't know why nobody would want to put the curly iron on some hat that's already curly, child. I'm going to just go with the with the curls that's on here it got two combs and a drawstring as you can see and it's extra stretchy with the elastic around the edges and i'm just going to tuck the comb in the front and the comb in the back i'm going to push that in too and i'm going to pull the string now after i pull the string i did wrap it around and i'm going to proceed to um oh look at that hair it's so pretty I'm going to proceed to get my two bobby pins that I have. I'm going. I'm only going to use two because these bobby pins are super huge and they're going to hold. Make sure when you put the bobby pins in, I'm going to put it, make sure I put it through the cap and through the hair, through the cap at the top and through the hair at the bottom. That way you make sure it's not going to come out and can't nobody snatch your cap off. I mean, I don't know what kind of situation you might be in to get your hair snatched off, but just in case, girl, put those bobby pins in there for extra protection now there she goes look at her oh that's how i look with the headband look at those edges y'all ain't she cute ain't she cute y'all okay and that's all i got to say in this video y'all hope y'all like it holla at y'all later bye